After spending years trying to perfect my home office and desk setup, I've learned that some of the biggest improvements you can make come from unexpected places. Case in point, this little gadget here. This is the Quick Keys, and it's made by a company called Zents Labs, who specializes in making technology for artists. Think like drawing tablets and digital pens. This device here, the Quick Keys, was originally designed as an accessory for art tablets to give artists quick access to their most used tools. But what I've discovered is that this device is very useful for all sorts of tasks, way more than just digital art. And I believe this device could be a great addition to many different desk setups out there. But there are a few things you need to know. So what exactly do we have here? The Quick Keys is a tool for creating shortcuts, for speeding up your workflow at your desk. If something you do on your computer takes a few mouse clicks and some typing on the keyboard, chances are the Quick Keys can perform the exact same action with a single button press. Speaking of, this device has eight buttons that can be programmed to do just about anything. You could use the buttons to play and pause music, and then use the dial to control the volume. Or you could map a program to each of the buttons and use this device as a launcher. You could even assign each button to your most commonly accessed files on your computer so they're always a button press away. And these are just a few basic examples of what you could program these buttons to do. And if you're interested in learning more, you should check out my previous video on macro pads. Nested in between the buttons is arguably this device's standout feature, and that's the OLED screen. The Quick Keys has an actual screen that tells you what each button does. This is a wonderful feature for anyone who struggles with memorizing keyboard shortcuts, and I am absolutely one of those people. Having a screen that tells me what each button does on at all times makes this device very easy to use. The next unique feature on this device we need to talk about is the dial. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I love a good rotary encoder. That's knobs, wheels, anything that spins. Maybe it's because I grew up with an iPod, but I've become obsessed with them. The dial on the Quick Keys is one of the best rotary encoders I've ever used. It rotates smoothly, and there's even a small indent for your finger to rest in while you rotate it. But the best aspect of its design is actually this soft ring of light around the dial. See, the dial can actually perform four different functions, and you can cycle between these functions by clicking this button in the center of the dial. So at a glance, I know exactly what the dial is doing based on the color. If it's yellow, I know that that means the dial will change the volume. Like the screen, this ring of light is another way the Quick Keys provides visual feedback to the user, which makes the device easy to use. So this device can navigate windows and control music. Great, but isn't that a little basic? Well, yes, and that's where the Zents Labs software comes in. Unlike other boutique macro pads I've tested, the Quick Keys is supported by some of the most user-friendly software I've ever seen. To customize one of the buttons, you just select it and choose what you want that button to do. The same goes for the dial. You can fine-tune how the dial behaves and what it controls. But where things get interesting is here at the top. These are different profiles for the Quick Keys. You can see I have one for Photoshop and one for Premiere. These are two programs I use often, but you can create profiles for any program you like. As you can see, when the Photoshop profile is loaded, all of the buttons change. They now perform specific shortcuts in Photoshop. But my favorite part of this profile feature is that it's automatic. See, this software runs in the background, so when I open Photoshop, the Quick Keys will detect it and automatically change the profile to Photoshop. I don't even have to think about it. That is a very user-friendly feature and not something that many macro pads can do. Next, I want to take a moment to highlight the quality of the hardware and the physical features on the Quick Keys. In short, it's impressive. First and foremost, if you didn't notice, this device is wireless, which again, is not something you see on many macro pads or specialty input devices. Being wireless allows the quick keys to be placed anywhere on your desk, which includes being in a horizontal or vertical orientation. And as a person who obsesses over the layout of my desk, I really appreciate the flexibility that wireless connectivity brings. It also means that this device has a battery, and I'm happy to report that the battery life is remarkably good on this thing. I think I charge it once every other month or so, which is especially impressive when you consider that there's an actual screen on this device. 
that is some excellent battery life. The back of the Quick Keys is coated in a grippy rubber, which keeps the device in place on your desk. All in all, the hardware is impressive on the Quick Keys, and it's one of the main reasons why I've kept this device on my desk for such a long time. So is the Quick Keys by Zense Labs a good pick for your desk setup? How much is this thing, and is it worth it? That answer is going to be different for everyone, but I'll give you my take. At its current price of 100 US dollars, the Quick Keys is not cheap. Its price is a premium product, but I also believe it delivers premium features. The onboard screen and the color changing dial give users visual feedback. You always know what each button does. There's no memorizing required, and the software is so easy to use that setup is a breeze. Remember that this device was originally targeted at digital artists and designers, not developers or programmers. And so the Quick Keys has an easy to use interface that does not require much technical knowledge. And that's what makes this device stand out for me, that it can be used by many different people with many different use cases. It's also the first device in this category that I've tested that supports PC, Mac, and Linux. Now, I've been very positive of the Quick Keys so far, but no device is perfect, and I do have a few complaints. First, the shortcut buttons themselves don't move very much when you press them in. It's a very faint click with not much travel. I would also love some tactile feedback in the dial. It just free spins, which I know some people prefer, but I like to have a rotary encoder with a little bit of resistance, a little bit of click when I turn it. It helps my brain understand how fast I'm rotating something. These are small criticisms of what is overall an impressive device. When you factor in the premium build quality and the wireless capabilities, the Quick Keys makes a compelling case for being the best overall macro pad you can purchase today, which is pretty crazy for a device that was originally designed to sit alongside a drawing tablet and a pen. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to Work From Hype. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my previous videos on macro pads and shortcut devices. My name is Nick Mo, and I will catch you guys in the next video.